Hello and welcome to this week's tip slash Q&A of the week with Stephanie. I'm Stephanie Lillian and it's so nice to be with you here today. Today's question is, what are the best stretches or postures to take before bed? That is an awesome question as always. Today I have a couple of stretches to share with you. Before we dive in though, I do want to review with you a breathing technique to use with these stretches. So whenever we're kind of trying to wind down to relax for the evening or before going to bed or just in general in life, one of a, a great technique to use is focusing on your exhales. So if you think about it, inhales bring in energy, bring in vitality to the body, you're nourishing the body when you bring stuff in. Exhales, you release, you let go, you get rid of anything that no longer serves you. So I'd like to invite you to join me for a couple moments and really focus on your exhales. So in other words, maybe you even draw out the exhales, you possibly make them longer in length than your inhales, or you simply just focus more of your attention on your exhales. So maybe you draw the eyes closed, maybe you do this with your eyes open. Inhale, and then exhale. Take a nice, long, big exhale. Inhale, again, you can still focus on your inhales, but really draw out that exhale. Inhale through the nose. Maybe this time you even exhale through the mouth. Really let it all go. Inhale through the nose. One more time, let's do a nice exhale through the mouth. So that's the technique that I'd like you to possibly explore when you're winding down with these postures before bed. With any postures that we try to relax through, we want to keep them grounding. So close to the ground, our heart, everything down low. We're not standing up and jumping around, doing things very active. So the stretches that I'm going to share with you are ones in which you can actually do in your bed. So if you are just wanting to get a couple nice stretches before you go to bed, these will be perfect for that. So the first of which is a simple, a simple twist. So you lay on down. Again, you can do these in bed. I'll do them on the mat to demo for you. But we can start just by gently hugging the knees in towards the chest. So this is Apanasana, knees to chest pose. Maybe you rock side to side. Maybe you give yourself a gentle hug. But as you're here, again, focus on big exhales. Allow everything else to just fade away. For the simple recline twist, you're just going to allow the knees to fall over to one side. Arms can come to a T-shape. They can really rest anywhere. Maybe you even place the left hand on the outside of the right knee. You can look up. You can close your eyes or possibly even send your gaze over the right hand. And you'll pause here for a couple big breaths. So in this twist, it's awesome for detoxification. It's also for relaxation, for letting go. We're kind of twisting the vital organs within the core, applying gentle pressure to just find a nice release. And you'll do the same thing on the other side. So once you're done with one side, you'll inhale to lift and exhale, slowly lower on over to the other side. And you'll pause here. If this is too much to be laying with the knees stacked one on top of another, or if the knees don't touch the ground, you could easily just grab a pillow on your bed and place the pillow either under your bottom knee or in between your two knees just to provide a little extra padding between them. Again, you pause here for a couple breaths. Maybe you look over the left arm here. Again, really exaggerate your exhales when you're trying to wind down for the evening. Eventually, you can come back up to center. So simple recline twist. That's my first suggestion for you. The second, we're going to stay laying on our backs, is Viparita Karani. So this is traditionally called legs up the wall pose. So if your bed does happen to have the headboard or something against the wall, you can totally do this there. If you don't have access to a wall around your bed, you can just do this in your bed and as I am demoing right now. So to start, you lay on your back body, hands can be down by your sides, and then on an inhale, just gently press the knees out so they stay stacked directly over the hip points. You pause here for a couple breaths. If this feels good for you and you want to take it one step further, you'll begin to lift the feet. Now, you may just lift them to a point that feels comfortable for you if keeping them lifted all the way up, in other words, toes on top of ankles, on top of knees, on top of hips is too much for you, then 
you really do want to find a point with the feet where it feels relaxing. This is meant to be a restorative posture, so if it feels like you're using a lot of energy to keep the feet lifted, then come down a notch. That's okay. We'll pause here for a couple big breaths. If you're up against the wall, you'll have the feet on the wall. So the more intense the stretch is going to be is going to be when the hips are closer to the wall. The less intense the stretch is going to be is when your hips are farther away from the wall. Your feet would be more like this, resting against the wall, okay? So you can play around with that. Maybe the hands eventually rest on the belly and you close the eyes. This is an amazing pose for just reversing blood flow. So we have the feet above the hips. We're allowing the blood to come back to the vital organs in the core once again. And when we lower our feet, we allow for a renewed circulation within the body. This is super relaxing. And also you might feel the toes get a little tingly throughout and that's okay. And we'll pause here, breathing deeply. Again, focusing on big exhales. The final posture that I have for you can be done at the wall or just lying down. If you're at the wall, I'm gonna pretend there's a wall right behind my legs. Essentially what you're gonna do is you're going to allow the feet to slide down the wall, insides of the feet touch, and they'll rest against the wall as the knees play outwards. So this is reclined Baddha Konasana, I like to call butterfly legs. So you can either have the legs resting against the wall, or if you're in the center of your bed and not using a wall, you can grasp around your ankles to hold for support. You can hold around the feet and really just allow the heels to fall towards the pelvic region as you press the knees towards the front of, or the edge of your bed, I guess. <laughs> so you'll pause here for a couple breaths, really press the low back towards the mat and <sighs> exhale. That's the name of the game when winding down and relaxing. And you'll have the shoulders as soft as possible. So when we're here, we wanna melt the body, relax it, soften the jaw, the shoulders. We're releasing any tension. If you eventually want to transition to an even more restorative version of this pose, you'll let the feet fall to the ground in the shape that they are in. So my feet are resting on the ground, knees are splaying open. If you want to make this even more ooey gooey and just super relaxing, you can take two pillows. Imagine I'm grabbing pillows. You can place them under your thighs and the knees so the thighs and knees have something to rest on and then you can totally melt into and relax the hip flexors. So pause here for a couple breaths. Again, exaggerate those exhales. Allow the mind to wind down as well. So we do that by focusing the mind on something happening here and now. So you either bring your mind to what you feel in the body or really focus on the breath. Feel the breath in your body. Exaggerate those exhales. Let everything else from the day just melt away. Pause here if you want to add in one more stretch. You can add in a nice happy baby. So maybe you grab a hold of the lower legs, behind the thighs, flex the feet and grab on the sides of the feet. Maybe you just give yourself a nice full body stretch before going to bed, anything that feels good for you. So just as a quick recap, the three postures that I recommend to wind down before bed are the reclined spinal twist, Viparita Karani, or legs up the wall, and then finally moving into Baddha Konasana, which is butterfly legs, either laying down or against the wall as well. Within any of those postures, keep the mind on the breath, exaggerate those exhales, really find a release, and with every exhale, just let go of the day that you've had and allow your mind to settle for resting in bed. I hope that those postures help you and help bring some peace and ease to your evening routine. And thank you very much for joining me here today. I look forward to seeing you next week. Namaste.